pancake and the mother and father and Granny and Sly the cat and Harry too. All of them live in a village called Emberlip, where there's always lots of things to do. Sally and Jake enjoy each day. Sly is never far away. Mother and father both work in a little shop. Granny's often busy. Harry is too. But all of them are happy in the village of Dimbledale. Cause there's always lots of things to do. Sally and Jake are sitting on their tricycle outside the shop. It's a fine sunny day, but they can't think of anything to do. Father comes out, carrying some oranges in a box. Nowhere to go, he asks. The wrapping on one of the oranges unwinds itself and blows away. Father tries to catch it, but can't. It blows round and round the pillar box and nearly posts itself. Then blows back to the shop. Mother puts her foot on it and picks it up. Dear, oh dear, says father, out of breath. What a carry-on. Oh, I'm tired out. Oh, oh. He has to sit down for a rest. Oh, regular paper chase that was. Oh, oh. That's a good idea, says mother. Why don't you two go for a paper chase? Sally doesn't know what a paper chase is. Father explains. Somebody has a bag full of paper, like this and he picks up one of the orange wrappings. Then he runs along and drops bits of paper behind him. To make a trail? asks Sally. That's it, Mother says. Then everyone else in the chase runs along behind, picking up the bits and seeing where they lead to. Sally thinks it sounds a good game. Shall we try it, Jake? All right, Jake says. How do we start? Father tells them they'll need two bags. One for the paper to make the trail, and the other to put the bits in afterwards, says Mother. You don't want to litter the countryside, Father tells them. Mother says she'll get some bags. There are plenty in the shop. Harry is busy working outside his barn. The children ride up with their bags. We're going on a paper chase, says Jake. Have you got any old paper we could use, please? Sally goes to find Granny. It doesn't matter what sort, Jake says. Any kind of paper will do. Harry thinks a moment. Paper chase, eh? Sally asks Granny if she has any paper. Now, have I got any paper or haven't I? Says Harry. That's the question, isn't it? He has an idea. I know where you might get some. He shouts across the garden. Have we got any old paper for Jake, Granny? What's he shouting about? Granny asks. What a tin! <laughs> come with me, Sally. We'll have a look. She calls to Harry. I suppose you two better come as well. They all go into her kitchen. She finds some old newspapers and they start tearing them into little pieces and filling one of the bags. Harry wonders if the children would let him join in the paper chase. He'd very much like to. Of course, Harry, Sally says. We'd love you to come. Thanks, Harry grins excitedly. Well, we'll have to pick who's going to make the trail and who's going to chase. And he goes to see if there are any straws in Granny's sideboard. There we are. Three straws, all the same length. I'll just make one of them shorter than the others. Sally wonders why. Whoever picks a short one goes first, Harry tells her. Sally takes a straw. Then Jake. His is longer than Sally's. Me first, Sally says. Me first. Shall I tell you where I'm going? Harry shakes his head. Nay, lass, don't do that. We've got to try and find you by following your trail. That's why it's a paper chase. They go into the garden and Sally sets off. 
Harry turns to Jake. We'll have to wait a few minutes uh, to give her a bit of a start. Sally leaves a trail across the garden, down the street past the shop. Good luck, Mother calls. Sam, the road sweeper, comes along. Here, yeah. what's all this then? What a mess. I've no sooner swept the road than another load of litter comes from nowhere. And he gets his brush to start sweeping up. Harry and Jake are still in the garden, giving Sally a start. Granny says, you'd better be off, Jake. Harry points to the trail on the ground. You're not really going to, are you, Harry? Granny asks. Yes, he says. But well, someone's got to look after him. Granny laughs. I think it's you who needs looking after, Harry Hardcastle. Jake and Harry follow the trail into the village, picking up the bits of paper as they find them. Suddenly, there aren't any more. What's happened? says Jake. The trail's gone. Then he sees Sam. You haven't swept up all our bits of paper, have you, Sam? Jake asks. No bits. Ah, the hours are they? Messing up my nice clean street. You ought to know better. Harry scratches his head. Oh, that's a bit of an how do you do, that is. And he tells Sam about the paper chase. Well, we were cleaning up as we went along, Sam. Now we can't tell which way to go, though. Sam is very sorry. Only I didn't know, did I? Cooey! Mother calls from the shop. If you've lost Sally, she says. She went that way. Jake hurries off. Oh, thanks. Harry laughs. But you shouldn't really tell us, you know. Jake soon picks up the trail again on the road to Farmer Mary's. He puts the bits of paper in his bag, one by one. Harry chases after him. They reach a gate and stop for a moment. Harry says, Oh, you think we could go a bit slower, lad? I'm, I'm fair whacked out. Just then, father drives by, tooting. Harry waves, and several bits of paper fly past his face. Oh, lorks. Oh, that's done it, says Jake. Father's blown the paper all over the place. Oh, now we'll never find the trail again. Oh, I'll go to the foot of our stairs, Harry says. That's a rum do, that is. They go into a field and collect as much paper as they can find. Then up a hill. Come on, Harry, calls Jake. We'll be all day. It's great up here. There's a smashing view. Poor Harry is feeling very hot and tired. He's beginning to wish he hadn't come on the paper chase after all. Oh, what's the matter? Jake asks. Aren't you enjoying it? But before Harry has time to answer, Jake trips and falls. So does Harry. They both roll down the other side of the hill and into a pile of straw. Harry peeps out. Then Jake. Where are we? At Farmer Mary's, says Sally, peeping out too. Bless your cotton socks, says Harry. What are you doing here, lass? Sally laughs. I dropped in like you. Jake doesn't think that's funny. I might have hurt myself, he moans. Sorry, Sally says. Then she thinks she hears a noise. Oh, it's probably father in his car buying vegetables, says Harry. He passed us on his way here. Hey, if we look sharp, we might get to lift home. The children think that's a good idea. Father is loading the car. Got any room for six tired feet? Asks Harry. And he tells father and Farmer Mary about their downhill adventure. Father laughs. Oh, I don't know. The things you lot get up to. There is room for them because father's vegetables are in a box on the back of the car. Farmer Mary finds a bit of paper in his beard and another bit under his hat and still more behind his ear. The car drives off. Dang him, darn it, says the farmer. There's paper everywhere. Father drives Harry and the children to Granny's door. She's in her kitchen making tea. Sly looks up as they come in. I'd sooner chase my tail than chase paper, he says. If I catch it, I'll put it in this bag. <laughs> 
Then he purrs to himself and goes back to sleep, exhausted. <laughs>